All right, so last few days I've been working on some birdhouse projects. Um, ever since seeing the eastern bluebirds uh, net, making their nest in the first one I built. Um, there'll be a lot of video of those that I'm building. I built one and I stained it. And the other one I painted, um, just painted it green this time. I didn't do camo color. Um, although they seem to like the camouflage. But uh, anyhow, so we're going to line it with three um, uh, little birdhouses for eastern bluebirds. And my mom, I talked to her the other day, and um, evidently one of her birdhouses that she's had some birds coming in and out of um, for the few, past few years broke on her. So I'm building her one. They found out it's... Um, a Carolina Wren. So I'm building a birdhouse to send to my mom for a Carolina Wren. Um, I've already cut all the wood out and I'm sanding it down now. I've already cut, I've already cut the hole and uh, I guess for those that don't really know that much about this, which I'm learning more as I go, um, each species of bird um, there's a specific diameter hole that they they really like. Um, so the Carolina Wren, um, it's a, a one and a half inch hole, and it's a specific amount up on the face of the uh, uh, of the front of the birdhouse. Um, I'm gonna include the link to the plans that I'm using. It's on a, a website. Um, I'll, I'll include that in the description notes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this one finished up and I think I'll probably stain this one. Um, I actually used an English chestnut stain color on one that we hung up the other day and this one's this one's a uh, let me, let me see if I can find it. A gunstock color, wood color. I'm not sure which one I want to use yet. Um, I may use this, this chestnut again because it really turned out good. And I'm using the same kind of wood. It's like a yellow pine, um, three quarter inch thick. It's the wood I have left over behind me uh, from some other projects I did. So, I guess I've, I've talked enough. Let me go ahead and get back to, to doing the uh, sanding. I didn't want to turn the camera on and, and do all the cuts and everything. Um, I'm sure everybody gets bored with all the, all the uh, showing of cutting wood. So anyhow, let me go ahead, I'll set the camera up and, um, and start working on it again.
right, so there are two of them here. The one on the left that's green, that is actually for um, Eastern Bluebirds. And the one on the right, that's the one I did. Um, I just built that for my mother and getting ready to send that off to her. That is for uh, Carolina wrens and Carolina chickadees. And I think there's a couple other birds. Um, you can find out which bird houses go well with what breed of or species of bird. Um, I also, which is the reason why I went ahead and I, I decided to stain that one because I like I like the way it looks stained. Um, with the type of wood I use, but uh, we'll go look at the other one um, here in just a second. Okay, we'll uh, walk over where my wife had me hang this one. So, let's see here. We figured some bushes and trees that are going to grow up over here. So, turn the camera. And there it is. I actually used like a little doorknob deal on this one. And to make sure nothing could just open it like a squirrel, I put a screw in here to keep it shut. I don't think anything's in there yet, but um, I, I like this one a lot better, the way it looks. And I actually put another piece of wood on top. That way, maybe they'll have an easier time getting in and out. But um, we figured maybe something would decide to make their little home in there. So, we'll walk back to the garage now. Go ahead and back everybody out a little bit. So, anyhow. So that's four bird houses now that I've built. I think I'm getting better with every one. Some of these bird houses are really intricate. Set the camera down. Um, try to get you over there. But anyhow, on this one, it doesn't open from the side. They didn't really show that, and I didn't want to mess with it too much. This one still opens from the side. This one, I just put four screws up on the top, take the top off, clean it out, whatever. Um, I guess you, I could have done something on the bottom where I just made it the bottom drop out. But I um, figured the uh, best way to do it, just four screws up on top. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, be pretty quick. So, anyhow, um, if anybody's interested, let me know, shoot me a, a message. Um, if you know of a type of bird that's coming near your area and you want a bird house built for it, I might be able to do it. Let me know. I'll let you know how much they might cost. Um, my first attempt. I didn't really like the way it came out. Um, I've got to do a little bit more. They didn't really give a lot of information on the angles, the way they wanted, the way it was needed. It didn't fit right all the way. So, I decided, just hang it here. It's one that I'm not the proudest of making, but it'll work, you know. But I couldn't send it to my mom. So, that's supposed to be, uh, Another birdhouse for 
the kind of birds that she says she has over um, flying around in her house area um, in, in Texas in the Dallas area um, so anyhow I don't know that we'll have anything try to make a nest in there but we'll see it's got one there the one over there by my wife's shop which does have birds in it and I've hung this one over here now so the, the green one there is the same style as the camouflage one by my wife's shop uh, it's for the northeastern bluebird that's for the uh, the wren the Carolina wren or the Carolina chickadee I don't know if we have those up here or not but uh, it's for a couple different species of birds and then I have the one I stained again over there that's also for the uh, northeastern bluebird eastern northeastern I can't remember now anyhow And this is the final product that I'm sending to my mother. So I think it turned out pretty good. Hopefully she likes it. So, all right, that's it for today.